very good morning to you guys. Hope you're doing well. You're having a nice weekend. Uh, the CFTC website reported some delays in their uh, reporting and so much that they had a cyber attack. And then so we had the delay in the COP data. There is still a little bit of an issue with the website in so much as that we've got some palm oil data discrepancy and some US real estate index discrepancy. But we're not too worried about those two. We're more interested in the foreign exchange market and we can ha how to use that data to aid us in our positioning. So albeit the data is now old, it's very, it's quite old to be honest. And I don't know whether or not we're going to get caught up in that data, whether or not they'll release that data, you know, there'll be, um, so next week it will be more updated as opposed to a month old data. Next week, they might have caught up. I'm not sure how they, they're going to do it. Or we're just going to be have a month delay, which I don't think that's going to be the case because, you know, we were on a weekly basis. We can't go from a weekly basis to a monthly basis. So I, I assume there'll be a catch up on that data. So next week, it won't be a month prior. It'll probably be three weeks you know, old data, then the following week will be two weeks old data, and then the month's time will be back to the weekly data. Um, so although it's old right now, it's the best that we can get, and it's the most updated data we can get. All right, so just a little bit of information there. So, you know, it's a great website to bookmark, and if you wanted to download the data, you can come here, and then, you know, you get the CSV file, which then you can use into Excel. But fortunately for us, Christian has designed a bespoke tool and uh, we can look at the charts, which is really awesome. And so remember that we have got looking at old data. So um, as we closed out the month, uh, Euro FX was strong and we actually broke above the high. The dollar rose as well, but slightly, but the Euro FX was quite strong. Okay, so let's look at the yen. And um, hopefully next week we'll be um, catching up on the data. Um, yen increased as well, but we were negative. We're still below zero. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. There's potentially UJ cell set up coming up if we get across. Let's take the euro off and we'll put on RZ. RZ is, uh, well, we went in ascendancy, but we are negative. So we went from 33, minus 33,000 to minus 30,000. So it's, you know, a dec an increase there of 3,000 contracts. Still below zero though. And so let's look at the pound. The pound had some good data uh, recently, um, some good PMI data and good retail sales as well. Uh, the pound's in ascendancy and it overtook the yen. So, you know, look for pound, yen, longs, but they're both very close. So ideally you want a nice crossover. You know, look, it's almost like it's correlated in a way, isn't it? So you've got to be careful pound, yen. Ideally you'd have a yen come down strongly and the pound to come up strongly, but they're not really getting a very strong crossover. Take pound off, look at CAD. Um, okay, so you know CAD yen, that's a decent one um, for a short. You know the CAD is weakened against the yen there, but then we went from sideways minus thirty to minus thirty. <laughs> right, so six hundred contracts difference, five hundred, six hundred difference. So slight increase, but very very subtle. Take CAD off. Look at gold. Gold be here, so um, we have to wait and see, won't we? When the data is released on Friday, we'll have to see this. This should have probably ticked down. We had a big surge, and normally things zigzag, right? We don't have like lines, straight lines, very unusual. Uh, so I think this will be a zigzag down on Friday, and then we'll look at the uh, Kiwi and then the Swiss and uh, New Zealand dollar. We broke about above that range. Actually, you can probably uh, say we hit that resistance and now it could be a turncoat support. Was resistance, go right, bounced off that. So interesting, if the dollar weakens, Kiwi strengthens, that's going to be an NU long signal, okay? 
and then uh, off, and then Swiss franc on. And we are ranging on the Swiss franc. And also, just lastly, before I close the video, is that you can look at any permutation that you want. You can just click the boxes, and perhaps you're really interested in the pound, um, uh, I don't know, pound Aussie, maybe, or something like that. And then, you know, you can look for trade-ops there. You don't have to look at the dollar crosses. You don't have to look at the yen crosses. You can look at any permutation. Euro, CAD, you know, for example. Uh, so there, you know, it's quite a, <laughs> quite a strong crossover. So just a little heads up there. And um, whether or not on Friday we're going to get some data that's more recent. And then the week after it's going to be even more recent. And finally, we'll be back to a weekly data releases because the monthly is too old really but it's the best that we can get and it is what it is so i wish you a good day i wish you a lovely sunday and it's really sunny in the uk so i'm going to go out there and get some sun and i wish you um a nice weekend and i'll speak to you guys tomorrow